fast speed, probes that mimic light to ambush prey, and venom-laced spines powerful enough to bring down a human being make it one of the most weaponized fish out there. These are some of the deadly traits of the beast in today's video. Meet the Bobbit Worm, the ocean's thing of nightmares. This annelid is straight up fatal, menacing, and vicious, starting with its dangerous mandibles across its spine and laser-like cutting skills. Aptly coined by biologists the Nightmare of the Sea, Bobbit Worm, or Sand Striker, is one of few creatures that should never have existed in the first place. Although worms already have a bad reputation in the minds of many people, this creature magnifies and combines all of those reasons for disliking worms into one single creature. The Bobbit Worm, Eunice Aphroditois, is one of the most terrifying benthic predators, stalking its prey while burrowed deep beneath the seabed. Their frames can grow to be 10 feet long as they spend the majority of their time coiled beneath ocean sediment. Though biologists have known about it since 1790, the creature's sinister nickname was given to it in a 1996 field guide. In a reference to the John and Lorena Bobbitt case, as the creature's scissor-like jaws are capable of cleanly cutting off its prey with a snap of their fingers. From the inconspicuous confines of live rock and coral, the worm uses its hyper-heightened antenna to seek out everything from lionfish and grouper to octopus several times its size, striking with overwhelming force. They remain hidden underground while carrying on with their search for any kind of prey. As soon as their antennas detect prey nearby, within the blink of an eye, the bobbit worm grasps the creature, cuts it in half, and consumes its meal, and then buries the remaining pieces under the ground. Talk about cleaning up a crime scene. Their entire morphology differs significantly from that of other worms. Their entire body is covered in a hard exoskeleton from top to bottom. When it comes to self-defense and protection from larger predators, their exoskeleton is crucial. They come in a variety of color gradients, but the most common are purple or black. Depending on their diet, a few of the worms may also develop a shiny or metallic outer layer. A strict carnivore diet darkens the exoskeleton, whereas a plant-based diet makes it shinier and healthier. Because most of the worms are omnivores, they typically range between 2 and 4 feet long. Despite the fact that they can grow to be up to 40 feet in length, which is the largest recorded observed size of a worm in their family. They are surprisingly slim in comparison to their body proportions. The bobbit worms have no eyes and encompass five antennas on their heads. It's believed that what the bobbit worm lacks in vision, it makes up for with its ultra-sensitive antenna, razor-sharp teeth, and vertiginous attack velocity. Sharp bristle-like mandibles are located all over their spinal system, which help in striking and stunning their prey. Most of the members of this class have similar mandibles, which act as the chief source of self-defense, as well as preying mechanisms. These worms are also the largest known members of the polychaite class. When it comes to specific water bodies that have already been compelled by this deadly worm, the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific oceans are on the radar. These worms are also abundant in coral reefs, but this worm hasn't been dispersed evenly across the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific regions. Rather, they prefer the tropical and subtropical areas of these bodies of water. And now growth isn't a constraint for these worms, because they are always growing. They can reach heights from 30 to 35 feet based solely on the availability of food around them. This is because their bodies are tightly coiled beneath the ground, making it impossible to estimate their size unless they're brought into a laboratory after being uprooted from the soil. In terms of eating habits, bobbit worms are among the most common omnivores found on the planet. To conserve their aerobic energy, they prefer smaller fish and worms and other organisms that are typically smaller than their own size. As previously stated, while it's capable of attacking enemies larger than itself, it prefers to do so only in extreme circumstances, most notably in self-defense. When prey is scarce, these worms rely heavily on seaweed, detritus, algae, and macroalgae. If you're an animal that resides in the same area as this deadly worm, the best thing you can do is to avoid going out at night. Bobbit worms are nocturnal creatures that carry out nearly 90% of their attacks at night. However, this factor doesn't completely protect you because, if the situation calls for it, these deadly nightmares are also very capable of preying during the day. They usually prefer to stay burrowed into their holes for the duration of the day, though. 
Their extreme unpredictability is a major factor that contributes significantly to their terrifying existence. Biologists are convinced that nature played its cards correctly when it comes to its predatory abilities. Light receptive enzymes, as well as a few chemical enzymes, are found in all of the five antennas embedded on the top of their heads. When prey is detected, the light receptive reflex pulls it towards it and burrows it under the substrate at speeds of up to 20 feet per second. Bobbit worms have two large spring-like retractable jaws that are not only flexible but also have two separate plates of scissor-like blades in each jaw. These razor-sharp, lethal plates are the protagonist of the creature's entire predatory system. These worms are distinguished by the ability to release a toxin into the subject after cutting it in half. When the toxin is injected into the prey, it kills them instantly and causes them to disintegrate, which allows the worm to ingest the food more easily. The antennas occasionally fail to release chemicals due to the impossibility of aerobic respiration. During this time, their iridescent purple body is more than enough to attract prey. Bobbit worms exhibit regeneration, which is a common phenomenon observed in all annelids. Because sexual reproduction is rarely seen in worms, this is also a major method of asexual reproduction. If the body of a bobbit worm is cut into segments, each of the pieces grows into a separate worm with the same genes. One of the most convenient ways to determine whether a worm has been sexually reproduced or regenerated is to look for those identical genes. These annelids have comparatively shorter of a lifespan, lasting about three to five years due to the lower aerobic capability. Sexual reproduction exhibition in these worms has been quite of a topic of discussion because scientists have not been able to distinguish between the male and female counterparts yet. It's clear from this that while different genders exist, they're not clearly distinguished. Bobbits are also one of the most introverted creatures on the planet because they prefer to live in coral reefs due to their color. It allows them to blend in much better with the environment, thanks to the coral reefs, and thus go unnoticed. It should be noted that the bobbit worms, known as sand strikers, do not get along with humans. This is clearly not a creature you'd want to swim over for a closer look at. It may mistake you for common prey, and its sharp teeth have the habit of eviscerating its victims in a fraction of a second, and their sting could cause long-term damage to human tissue, as the toxins that the bobbits inject into their prey are highly venomous, and are even capable of killing their human subjects on the spot. Bobbit worms are classified as not evaluated by the IUCN red list due to their overcritical tropical and subtropical demand for existence. Scientists claim that they're not on the verge of going extinct, and furthermore, it's possible that their population is going to grow in the future. A 400-year-old fossil discovered an even more terrifying version of the bobbit worm than exists today. The jaws were nearly twice as large in the fossil, as was the thickness of their cylindrical body as environmental changes and constant evolution and mutation were all observed uniformly. The bobbit worms, like the other members of the Annelida phylum, should be the last set in your terms of, oh, I would want that as a pet. If all of this isn't enough to frighten you, let us also tell you that more than 353 species of the bobbits have already been identified in coral reefs. We know far too little about this and other oceanic beasts, despite the fact that aquarium owners have been terrorized for years by these uninvited stowaways. So, tell us what you think of this nightmarish, shockingly intriguing, extraterrestrial-like, snapping, violent, excellent hunter-killer beast in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button with your crocodile paw, and hit that notification bell for more amazing beasts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.